Hello friends. In this session, we are going to learn how to create new project on GitLab. So let's start. So in this video, we will cover some topics here. Okay. So these topics are what is GitLab and how to open account on the GitLab and how to create new project on our GitLab and post the file and code to Git GitLab and own project from GitLab and delete project from GitLab. So here first topics we will see what is meant by GitLab. GitLab is an open source tool that provides code repository and collaborative software development platform for large DevOps or DevSex projects allowing professional to perform all project tasks. GitLab is a free for individual and GitLab offers a location for online code storage and capabilities for issue tracking and CICD. CICD means continuous integration and continuous deployment and continuous delivery. Okay. So see here in the GitLab means we are developer is coding and this coding developer have to push the uh, push on the GitLab this code and all the team members uh, he will see uh, this uh, GitLab. Uh, this code from the debit lab and how we can uh, or how can team uh, clone the own means all the project is clone in your PC. This project clone in your PC means, means all the team members this code is seen. Okay. So features of the GitLab. GitLab is a simple and setup easy to use UI and tools. GitLab supports free, public, and private repository. It comes with an inbuilt registry that can be deployed immediately without any configuration. And GitLab is faster system which can be used for the for deployment and development. GitLab's built-in code review, code testing, code quality and audit applications help to decrease error faster and shorten feedback cycle. Okay. So GitLab managing Git repository and after that it uh, GitLab CI continuous integration is a software services that builds and tests the software whenever developer push the code to applications. And GitLab CD continuous deployment, it means, and it's a software service that plays and changes every code in the production, which result in everyday deployment of production. Okay, so why we use the GitLab? Because we use the GitLab because of the applications of GitLab provides functionality to make automation of the complete DevOps, which makes a plan to design, create, build, verify, test, deployment, deploy, and monitoring on scalability, reputation, availability, and replications like that. For, for the use this, we use GitLab. So now see how to open account on GitLab. So firstly, we have to go this official website, this, and search here. GitLab. register and search here and you will see the official website of the GitLab see here go click on this and in this way fill up the first name last name you enter the username email id password and register after that register you will get a um, some code uh, in your email id and this code you have to enter here and uh, register it. okay if you have to account on google or gitlab or any of these applications then you can register with this okay 
like that. So see, so you have to enter some uh, registration, click on this register now. And if you have to Google account, GitHub account, then register with this email ID. Okay. So after that, you get the, some uh, verification code uh, in your uh, email ID, then enter the email ID, uh, enter this verification code. And after that, you will get this page as a role and sign up for GitLab. And you will select the role and sign up. And if you want to using GitLab for the company or team, then click on this. And if uh, you don't have to use this team and company, then you click on this trust me. Okay, like this trust me right over there. After that, what um, what would you like to do if you have to join a project or you have to create a new project then select on this so we will select this create a new project after that continue then you get this page create a uh, your new project okay so enter the group name and project name and create the project okay like that and if you don't have uh, if you have already have account then we will see how to create a new project okay so go in sign in and after that, here I have already account in GitLab. So just wait for the few seconds. It is opening. Okay, now it's open and you will see here, here is my username and it's a password and I will here sign in. And here I don't have any project here. So click on this create project. You will navigate to next page. Okay, now you have to create a blank new project. Okay, blank new project. Then click on this and here put the name for the project name project okay so here i will give devops and okay i will give here devops in as a project name and here our url i url uh, here our link for this project okay so here if you uh, you will keep this visibility level uh, private or public as your requirement if you, if you have to uh, this project uh, can be accessed without any authentication or uh, multiple you have to use this project for the mul uh, multiple people or team members then you uh, or this project you can uh, see see it publicly okay so then you can use this or I will keep as it is as a private. Okay, so project computation I disable it and create the project. After that, this page will get here. Okay, this page you will get here. So see here, this steps we are done. Okay, now we have to push the code to the GitLab. So let's wait. See, we have to create a, some file. Okay. So here I have already created a file in that folder. See here, this is a file. Okay. The on the text for DevOpsFit, GitLab, and new folder. Okay. So this file simply will open it okay. it's a hello world okay it's a hello world file we are push the push on the get line okay so how we can push it so right click on this page and open git bash And I will maximize this window. And here, 
we have to push the or push the this file to the GitLab. So what we have to do? So firstly we have to do git init. Okay, we have to push this init. Okay, so now check the git status. Check the status. This is a unread files here. This file we have to sample dot text. We have to post the file on the GitLab. So how we can push next step? After that, we have to new remote origin. So get remote origin and give the path. Okay, where we have to push. Okay, so firstly let me copy this and paste here. And after that, push the Link on that link clone clone with I will go to the go with me HTTP uh, as this link I will copy it from here and paste here because we have to post the code on this remote location that's why right. see and again you have to see this status it's not pushes because we have to add this file okay so. Next step is what we have to add this file to git invite. After that, you add this file. Okay. Now it will see the status of this file. So see this file we add here. Okay. This file we, we will add here. Okay. So firstly, only you have to in it means this file you have to push the GitLab means it's an untracked file but now it's it's a status now it's a status is green okay so now what we have to do next we have to commit this file means this file we have to commit it okay so what we can do here the git commit okay git commit Right now we have to give some message here. Any message you can type here as your requirement. Okay. So I will type my first. Fine. Okay. And enter. And you will see the status for the file. So here file is committed. So this status from this status, this file goes to the uh, ready for the push. Okay. So now we have to check the branch of the git. So check the branch using git branch. Then this, this is a master branch. Okay. Now we have to push the using this git push origin master. Okay. Git push origin master. You have to using this command. You can push the push the file on the GitLab. Okay. It's a positive file. Okay. Now, next step is you have to refresh this page of the project. Okay. The GitLab. And after the refresh, you can see the sample text file. Okay. So, see here sample text file, my first commit. File. Okay. So in this way, we can see how to push the code or file 
to the GitLab on the GitLab. Okay. So next step is what? See here. Next step is how to clone the project from the GitLab. How we can clone it? So see, firstly I will here create a new folder. Use the clone file. Okay. Or so clone the project and open it. And see this file I have to clone it. This file I have to I want to clone it. Okay. I want to clone it means what we can do. Firstly, we can do copy this clone with HTTP link. Copy this. And after that, we, you will go the where we are to clone this file. Okay. So open another git cache here. After that, you use git clone and copy the link from where we can clone the project. Now enter it and cloning into the offset. And you can see the status like that. Okay. Then if you are open this folder and see here, git sample. Okay. This git sample, we are clone this project. Then see here, hello. Okay. In this way, we learn also how to clone the file. Okay, this is our our already clone file. Already push the file this, and this is our clone file. Okay, so now next step is how we can delete the project from the GitLab. So see here. Firstly, you have to go inside this project. Okay. So after that, you can go the setting. In that setting, your multiple sub options are present here. Then you, are, you will go inside the journal. After that, go down and here advanced is present, expand it. And after that, was below and up to delete this project so delete it and give the enter the following to confirmation so this this project you have to delete then enter this same for the confirmation means what which project you have to delete okay so click on this yes delete project and it will delete okay so here you get the message here your project this is a group name and it's a project and this is the id this id is deleted okay will be deleted so in this way we will learn what is gitlab and how to open account on the gitlab and create new project and push the code or file to the GitLab and clone the project from GitLab and delete project from the GitLab. So thank you for the watching video.